Game theory is the kind of mathematics that we use to study rules. So for a long time, economics focused on prices, what kind of prices are needed to make markets clear. But now more and more we study rules, what kind of rules should markets have to get the right prices or to get the right outcomes even when those aren't determined by prices. What we try to understand is, is which rules work better than other rules. So the kind of game theory that I work in is an area that's developing called market design, where we try to understand how to organize markets so that they work better and maybe we can fix them when they're broken. A lot of market design is related to markets of the kind that Marilda Sotomayor has studied, which are matching markets. And matching markets are markets in which you can't just choose what you want. You also have to be chosen. And many markets are like that, like labor markets. You can't just decide where you want to work. You also have to be hired. And of course, employers can't just decide who will work for them. They also have to make offers that are accepted. So. So a lot of markets don't just depend on prices, they depend on making matches because you care with whom you're matched, not just what the price is, not just what your wage is. And so what I'll be talking about uh, in, in my course here on market design is matching markets and market design, how we understand markets working when prices may not be the most critical element in deciding who gets what. A lot of what makes nations prosperous is having markets that work well. So I would think a, an important thing for Brazilian economists to do is to, to look at Brazilian markets and seeing which ones are not working as well as they could be and how, how to improve them. And often improving them has to do with thinking of new ways to organize them, new ways to organize exchange, new rules for the market. Um, so some of the market places that we've worked on in the United States um, could have, you know, have, have parallels in Brazil. We've worked on labor markets, how, labor market clearinghouses, how people get jobs. We've worked on kidney transplantation, how people get kidneys. Um, we've worked on uh, school choice, how people get assigned to, how children get assigned to places in schools. So those are, are certainly things that also have application in Brazil, but there'll be many other Brazilian markets that, that may not work as well as they might, and that's an area where market design can help. I see. Um, I am certainly not an expert on football. But there is a game theorist who likes football quite a bit named uh, Ignacio Palacio Huertas, who has written a book called, um, I'm not sure what it's called. It, it might be called The Beautiful Game Theory because we call football the beautiful game. Uh, but, it, but he's written a book about using football matches and the data collected from them to test game theory. So that's a little bit the opposite of what you want to do. You want to use game theory to improve the performance of, of the football teams. But, um, but he's certainly someone to, uh, to talk to about this. He's associated with one of the big football clubs in, uh, in Bilbao. So he's an economist and a game theorist and a, a football fan. Mm -hmm.